innovation, sustainability and energy will be key issues and concerns um, and opportunities in the years to come. Which is why for the second year running we are extremely pleased at Deloitte to be your host. It's about people, planet and prosperity. Our lineup today will inspire you and we want you to leave the building this evening invigorated and ready to do something differently tomorrow to ensure Australia is a role model for a sustainable future. This business forum today is uh, a really important event for the French or French business community. Uh, we just showcase uh, the, the savoir-faire or the technology of the French companies uh, to the Australian market. How we transfer technology, how we can, can we bring to Australia for the next 20 to 30 years. Instead of having manuals sitting in front of uh, the workers assembling the aircraft, they use a virt virtual reality display uh, and throw it up in front of their eyes, which actually shows them where to place those fasteners, uh, where to place the, the various components on the aircraft when they're in the aircraft constructing them. We're, we're living uh, a sort of honeymoon uh, between France and Australia because the relationship between governments are pretty good. The relationship between people have always been good, but also the relationship betwe between businesses is, is becoming something much more important than maybe uh, 10 years ago. And the reason why uh, we're, we're going through this period is that we really want to be part of the transition of the Australian uh, economy towards a, a more innovative model. ITER is a major project and has turned into the biggest uh, physics experiment in the world and is being built in the south of France. And Australia is the first non-ITER country to have a formal direct relationship with ITER and we established that uh, relationship uh, last year. The history, the culture, all the other common features have make us natural partners in many ways but also what's happening in France where France has been so good at advanced manufacturing where France is a technological leader for us that's also a natural area where given we have an innovation and science agenda we can have more cooperation the submarine contract I think has also taken the relationship to a new level and given us a great new level on which to cooperate South Australia's got a really important role to play in um, the shipbuilding program and all the other defence programs that a lot of our major French companies will, will benefit from. Uh, I think when you give a theme like innovation and sustainability, you've got a lot of scope, which is really great. So all of those things are really relevant to what we'll discuss in South Australia. We might add a little extra in on the defence side. Um, so we'll spend a bit of time talking about that. Um, and no doubt more on the renewable side and the transition of our energy, our energy grid to a grid of the future. The event was really all about sustainability and innovation and that goes to the core and the heart of our business. We really are a business that believes truly in innovation at every level and in investing both in people, in products and solutions for our customers. looking at sustainable building and construction and whether Australia was at the forefront. We had the benefit of three international companies who cover operations, construction and monitoring and evaluation that could give us a really broad perspective on how we sit internationally. So I'm very optimistic about the future of the relationship. Uh, you never take your friends for granted and this is a great way for us to take the relationship to the next level.